Yes guys, today's vlog is going to be starting right from here. I'm going to be showing you the biggest handmade lake, man-made lake in Africa. And it is found here in Uganda in a town called Indeva. Yeah, so right now, this town where we are is called Kawusu. This is Kawusu town. Uh, there is this farmer's market. A big one, very amazing. Yeah, it's called Gold Meadow Farm Farmer's Market. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be showing you the lake, the biggest lake in Africa, the handmade lake. This lake was dug by hands. It was dug by hands. I'm going to be giving you a little bit of history about it. This lake belongs to the Kabaka. It belonged to the Kabaka of Uganda, who was reigning by then. Yeah, he ordered his men to dig that lake, and they did it with hands. Most surprising, the intention was uh, this lake had to go up to his palace, which was in Salama, Monyonyo. Remember uh, this one, which we are going to be exploring, is just near Mengo Palace. And he wanted it to go, he wanted the lake to go further up to his palace that is on Salama Road, Monyonyo. And not only that, he wanted it to go further up to Lake Victoria. So this is the lake that we are going to be exploring. Yeah, this road takes you to St. Lawrence University. Yeah, Mango Campus. And it as well takes you to Pastor Kayanja's, uh, Pastor Kayanja's church. One of the notable pastors we have in Uganda. Yeah, so this is the road that gets you to those uh, to those plots and as well it is the road that gets you to Kabaka to Kabaka's lake let's go this road is is dusty all right I don't know why they don't they don't tarmac it because it is really used by wealthy people yeah. Yes, I remember the last time I came this way, it is like seven years back. We are taking people to Pastor Kayanja's church. I want to get closer. Yeah, and I've come to find uh, someone here is fishing. Kakati, Mposanzo, Bubaki is Okubakunyanjeno. This is all a very nice journey. Okay. Kati Kubanga, you must say. Mujia want one. Wali la biyoko kabaka angazi kukaianda kani. Aja na la mu na la mu lafu. Hmm. Aja. Aja. Okay. Awo sio wapi. Kati bengine jambo mkuu bila galu vuge ugende na bi. Sisi katanda wengi na agaba. Eh. Kuanga biyo mbira mwe bili bint. Eh. Eh. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so let me get closer and I explore more of the lake. 
I don't know the name of these birds in English, you can help me. But there are too many here, I think they are here because of the fish. Guys, this is the biggest lake. From this view, I don't know if you can see how big it is. But it is really big. I wish I could get to that uh, to that island in the middle of this lake. <laughs> yeah, there is a, an island. It's right there and I'm seeing some people there. They must have used boats to get there. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah, the guy told me that the king, of course, gets some time and visit his lake. This lake is found here in Deva, just very, very close to the palace. I think the only thing that divides this lake with the palace is the road. I don't know if you can see it right there. So, yeah, that road you see where moto, motorbikes are passing is the road that divides this lake to the palace. Where you see the banana plantations is the palace of the king of Uganda. I'm going to go around and show you the lake from different angles. Guys are seriously fishing. Let me get to the other side. So guys, uh, this lake here is found in Indeba. And uh, when you go further that direction, that is Indeba town. Uh, from up here where we came from is Kabusu. From this side, it is Chisenyi. And of course, uh, the headquarters of the palace of the Kabaka. This is St. Lawrence University. And when you go to this direction, that is Katwe. And of course, the Kampala City Business Center. I want to take you to other angles and we get better views of the lake. Yeah, from right here, this is how it looks. This side is cleaner. Yes, now you can see someone sailing to this small island I told you about in the middle of the lake. Yeah, there's someone there heading to the small island. <laughs> uh, whatever they do from there, I don't know. Kari. I'm going to get a little bit Yeah, this is the island I was telling you about. Yeah, that is the small island I told you. Wow. 
the vibe is a different from that I get when I'm at Lake Victoria. It's just the same. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> This is an emblem of the Buganda Kingdom. It is a blue shield, uh, a blue shield with white strips and two spears crossing. Yeah. And from all directions we are surrounded by water. This is the island. You see? Wow. Yeah, so this pole, yeah, this pole is supposed to hold the Buganda flag, but it is not there. Maybe it is always put there for special functions. Wow. Kabaka's Lake is a man-made lake located in Deva, Kampala the capital city of Uganda. Of course, get some. It's one of the prominent landmarks in the city and holds great historical and cultural significance. It's the largest in Africa. The lake was created under the directions of Kabaka Mwanga II in 1885 as an escape route out of his kingdom and as well to serve as a water source and a defensive barrier for the king's palace. The lake covers an area of approximately 200 acres, that is 0.8 square kilometers, and has an average depth of 4.5 meters. It's primarily fed by natural springs and rain runoff. Mm. 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 Uganda <laughs> 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 Hey, 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 Kati mukusi me nyanya jeno. 
ero okukoma okujisimira bakoma ku mwanga obaluka bake yaddirira awe yaji sebeletekali eh weliyako abako mawe bako matwali yaddamu atukusima ko yadde mm weba magali ngabo bawulira mm abamu abanyo waliwa bazalawa eh abazalawa tibawula bamagali bosa abali awo